Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. I am back with another interesting topic in the Tosca automation playlist. So continuing with our test automation obstacles topic with Tricentis Tosca, let's look at our next obstacle, which is called scroll into view. Now here, the obstacle seems pretty simple that you need to enter Tosca into text box. But the catch here is the text will disappear once the text box is out of the visible area. So here, if we look here, uh, I cannot enter the text directly because currently this particular text box is not in view and something is blocking the UI. Now, if I scroll this to the bottom, then the text box is going to come into the view and then I can enter some text here. Okay, and then I can click on submit to complete this obstacle. So this is what we need to do in Tosca. So let's see how we can perform this particular automation. So coming back to Tosca, uh, first of all, we are going to scan this particular module. So I'm going to scan the application here. And now uh, we are going to add uh, the particular text field. And also we are going to uh, select the submit button. So these are the two objects which we want to add. And as you can see, the text field uh, is uh, embedded inside a iframe. And then there is an HTML document inside which there is the text field. Okay. So these are the two controls uh, which we need currently. So I'm going to save and I'm going to also rename this obstacle before I close it. So I'm going to rename this module here. Then I'm going to save and I'm going to close. Now the next thing which uh, we have to do is we need to add some more properties or parameters into this particular text field. Because as you know, we need to scroll in order to get this particular field into the view, okay? And for this, uh, we can use something called the steering parameter in Tosca. Okay, so when you right click on this particular field, then uh, you can add a steering parameter. Okay, so there is an option to create steering parameter. So click on that. And we are going to rename this steering parameter property to scrolling behavior. Okay, so in this scrolling behavior steering parameter, we have got four different values, uh, which is top, bottom, center, and none. So what it does is it allows you to define where the control should be positioned on the screen. And for this, it can scroll uh, to top, to bottom, or to center, okay? So what we are going to do, uh, we are going to mention the value here as top so that this particular uh, Scrolling behavior helps us to bring this particular uh, control uh, to the right position on the screen, okay? Once you do that, then uh, it becomes very simple. We just uh, need to add the test case here. So we are going here and we are adding a new test case. Okay, and then uh, I'm going to add the module right here. And then uh, we just need to enter the text here. So I'm going to enter Tosca here. And then uh, this is the first step. The next step is to click on submit. So I'm going to use another test step for that. Okay. And I'm going to perform the click operation here using X. Now uh, also what we can do is we can rename these steps. So here I will say enter text. And here I will say click submit. Okay, so this is all we have to do in this particular obstacle. Uh, we can set the work state to completed, and then uh, we can try and run this particular test case now. Okay, so let's go ahead and run this in Scratchbook. Okay, so as you can see, uh, the scrolling behavior helped us to bring that control into the particular position so that it is visible and then uh, it is in view, and then we can type the text into that particular text box. So similarly, you can use different steering parameters
to change the behavior of your particular controls uh, in your application. Tosca provides a number of different steering parameters which can be used. That's all for this particular video. If you have any questions, then please leave it in the comments. If you like this video, then please subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video.